All right, in this video, we're gonna be watching as women answer the question of how much money a man needs to make in order to be with them and how much money is required for their submission. So now we'll uh, watch Kevin Samuels on live. What do you need from a man financially? For him to hold it down. What does that mean? So what that means is, you know, as a woman and I- Put a dollar value on it. Don't, don't, don't give me the yearbook answer. Um, I love how he's just like, look, get straight to the point, right? A lot of the time, we're not used to the bluntness and honesty and upfrontness that would usually come with that patriarchal figure and that masculine energy that was in someone like Kevin Samuels. You have to remember, he was speaking to men like that even before he was speaking to women like that for years. I didn't watch his videos, but I'm aware that he was speaking to guys primarily for years before he blew up. It's only when he started speaking to girls like that in the exact same way when he blew up because people were triggered by him speaking to women like that. Because a lot of time when they're living in, in a fantasy is because people aren't just keeping it real with them like Kevin Samuels was. At least, at least a minimum of six figures. Minimum. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. I, I, I laugh, man, because I'm trying to keep it light, but because we know why he's laughing and that's because of what his mission was, was getting people to understand what your level is and what is appropriate for you to be asking, which we're gonna, uh, you know, go more into. But it's funny because people just pull this 100K number out of the sky almost. Like, why is it specifically 100K? Why not 90K? Why not 80K? Why is it that girls always say 100K? It's only because she's rounding it up because it sounds good. But actually, what makes sense is if someone said, I need my man to make 70K, now we know that they're being logical about it. For example, in the UK, I believe the average wage is about 28 to 36,000, but let's just say 35,000, so still on the high end, right, in pounds. If a girl said, okay, I need my man to make 70K, but no one says that, because they're not thinking logically, they're just thinking with the ideal, which is 100K, just round it up. Okay, but what's what's the minimum that he needs to be earning? Yes, for your submission. For my submission, what me cook, clean, do everything a woman is supposed yeah. to yep. do. No, he no, what she just said. She said to do everything that a woman is supposed to do. I'm highlighting it because it's interesting. If I was to say, or a man says it in the wrong place, wrong context, around wrong people, that would be considered misogynistic. And it's interesting, right? But when a woman says it, it shows understanding that she knows what a woman's supposed to do. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with cooking and cleaning. I think there are essential activities to run the household and run a properly function, functioning family. And there's also nothing wrong with her expecting a man to do what he's supposed to do so that she could do what a woman's supposed to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just this toxic, um, unhealthy mindset that has been added onto something which should be healthy. He makes all the decisions. If he said, hey, quit your job tomorrow, you're doing it. Good hey, get 100K a year. Let's note something. What she also said, she said, he's going to make all of the decisions. She never said, wait, no, no, there's no price on that. Which shows that back in the day, I'm telling you, the women weren't like, oh, the man's making all the decisions. No, they was in love with the idea that the man was making all of the decisions. Because back then you have to realize Every woman feels like she has a guy that's making 100 gay because the normal average income back then was enough to take care of you, your woman and your kids. So she was looked after, she was good. She, she didn't have to want for anything. A woman would have been comfortable with her man making the decisions and submitting as can be shown because this girl can be, her submission can come at the price of 100 gay. But back then every guy was almost making 100K from the perspective that he was able to take care of his woman like that. Okay, 100K. So, do you know what percent of men make 100,000 or more? Barely. Probably like less, less than 10%. Barely. Well, less than 10? I'd say the same. So, it's less than 10%. Do you guys think you're in the top 10% of women? 
There you go. 10% yeah, and 10%. What? I personally do. Okay. I have a question for you. Um, who would you say is an example of a girl that's a nine on a scale of one to 10? But are you referring just on looks? Yeah. Or like looks. everything. Looks. Because it starts with men, it starts with looks. Okay. I would say someone like Megan Fox is a nine. Okay. And would you put yourself on the level of Megan Fox? No. So then you wouldn't be in the top 10% of girls. That's fair. Okay. I love that. I love the fact that she actually was able to just listen and go, all right, fair enough. But it's crazy because that is actually just simple logic. That's not the first way that they use to perceive information. I think they use ideals and emotions. But that is actually logical. That just makes sense. To, to a guy, it would be like, but isn't that obvious? But to them, they don't think like that until it's put forward to them, just like how Kevin Samuels was doing. <laughs> but I want to know what you thought of the video anyway. Comment down below. Let Remus know. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.